I, I really like 13th Age a lot. Um, it's a great system just for uh, the ability to make it do what you want it to be able to do. Uh, throughout the book, when you read the book, there are <coughs> sidebars where both of the people who came together and made this game, one of, who, one of whom was the head director uh, or the head developer of 4th edition and one who was the head developer of 3rd edition of uh, D&D, who came together, made this game, and they literally, literally disagreed on tons of things about <laughs> making the game. And in the sidebars they say, well here's what I think about this and here's what I think about this. <laughs> and so there will be rules in here where, where they'll say, here's what we've got, <coughs> but you know what, that doesn't maybe <coughs> work for your table. Um, and, and I think that's amazing that it just straight up says so this that. Whole, that whole book is a compromise. Yeah, like, it, that, it, it, it's a lesson I, in negotiating. I do believe yeah. the entirety of chapter eight is where they're not talking to each other. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah there's, sure. there's actually one sidebar where they're like, we just kind of tabled this issue for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, there are a it's lot like of director's things. commentary. Yeah, there, but no, but it's great. It's fantastic. It gives you an inside view, and it lets you build. A, you know, you can take things out and put things in that work for your table because every table is different. So uh, follow Thirteenth Age on Twitter um, and uh, and go buy the goddamn book from Pelgrain Press. Right. Like, yeah, it's Come a on. it's honestly it's one of the best books I bought. It's like a quality book. Anyway, I'm gonna quit being a goddamn salesman. Well, we have forty five dollars worth of gift certificates oh, from right. Pelgrain Press to give away three different fifteen dollar gift certificates. So yeah, you have it. the opportunity, if you donate, to possibly take home some PDFs <coughs> or give yourself a discount on the book. If you like what you see today, you might, you know, or you know what, just uh, go and uh, give them some money and, yeah. and be a uh, be a, a good customer. Yeah, yeah seriously. It's good. Good. Also that. Um, so, um, I'm going to run 13th Age in Eberron. That's not the core setting that the book assumes you run it in, but you can run it wherever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, the, two, the two big things uh, about this game that, uh, that I like uh, the best is you've got something called the one unique thing, and you've got icons. That's really what really sets the game apart. The one unique thing is something about your character that sets your character apart from every other individual in the world. So when you're creating a character, you choose a one, you know, one unique thing, and you know these are pre-made, so these have kind of been picked for the players. Um, but it can be something absolutely crazy, um, and you just go to the, G uh, the DM and you say, "This is what I want the thing to be." And as long as it's not great game breaking, you just let the player have it. Be, you know, my parents were dragons or something, you know, something silly. Um, but yeah, everybody has one thing that's very unique about their character. The second thing is icons. If you're DMing um, 13th Age, the assumption is that you're very experienced at DMing. It says in the book, don't buy this book if you haven't DMed a lot. Because the idea is you improvise the vast majority of the, of the session. Um, so at the beginning of the well, game... what the fuck are you doing running this? <laughs> <laughs> I could probably do the, that. The fact <laughs> is, this is going to be awful for all of us. <laughs> I yeah. get it, okay? None of us are going to have fun. I was Let's just get it. this shit over with. Let's get like it over with. No, yeah. just rip it off. Off. Look at the last four hours. Grind it out. Come on, people. Woo. Come on. Nobody loves anybody. Save the worst for last. <laughs> so at the beginning of the game, um, you roll for your icons. Um, some of you will only have one icon to roll for. Some of you will have more than one icon to roll for. You roll 1d6 for each point in that icon. Tell me if you roll a five for your icon. Tell me if you roll a six for an icon. I don't care if you roll one through four. Those numbers don't matter. Fives are different from sixes. So just tell me if you roll a five or a six. I'm rolling three of these things. Got none. So okay. Wait, wait. I have positive three. Is that does that mean anything? Uh, the I number on the dice. It's just the numbers. You roll three d six. Tell me if any of oh. them are fives or any of them are sixes. Nope. Wait. What, wait. I got two. Oh, one, roll, one, yeah, just roll three and, and six. What, and, and what is the name of your icon that you rolled those let, for? Let, let, uh, let my my icon is the Lich Queen. The Ooh. Lich Queen. Oh man, you did well. I've got a six. Isn't that one five was a five and one was a six? Yes. No, okay. just that's a three. I've got a six though. You got a six for who? What is the icon for that? This is Morgrave University. Morgrave University. That's Posi the. But it says positive three. Okay. Oh, positive one. What is that? Positive mean? one. Okay. Yeah. So um, you can have. A, uh, it, I mean, think about, you know, like on Facebook you see complicated relationships. There's positive, complicated, and negative. I think the, they, uh, they use a different word than complicated in the book, but I prefer complicated. Um, so basically, uh, if it's a positive relationship, oh. then you're just like, you get along well with them. So, y you know, you have tenure, you're on a good track, they seem to let you go off on your adventures, and they don't give you too much trouble about it. Actually, I lied to you. I have two <laughs> okay. icon relationships. Okay, roll, um, the, roll the second one. Okay, the Lich Queen's ac actually a complicated, too. 
Okay, complicated. So you rolled a five and a six for a complicated relationship with the uh, Lich King, or Lich King. Queen, yeah. and you rolled um, one six uh, for Morgrave University. Okay. Oh, you only roll one of those because you only had a one for... Yeah, you roll one d6 because you oh, roll geez. for how many points are in it. So, yeah, so you should have rolled two. Well, I got a five and a six then. I'm not okay, sad. and then on this I'm one, you roll one d6 for the Church of the Silver Flame. That was last game. Okay, five for Church of the Silver Flame. You want me to positive talk to him? Uh, okay. Hey. 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 No, it was Mason's fault, guys. Mason's fault. Wait, why is people are people laughing? This is what's true. Don't dogpile on the guy who's been up for 22 hours. Uh, for the lich or the church? The church? Oh, it was a five. It was a five. <coughs> okay. So uh, you didn't roll any. None of you guys on this side roll five or six. Nope. Nope. Okay. Cool. We uh, we handle our relationships on this side. Hang on. No. Wait. 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 What? What? Let's why are we see waiting? what my my relationship is with the Lord of the Blades. Nothing. No, I rolled a one. You don't okay. care about yeah, that. He's cool. He's fine. Lord roll of the, the Blades. Wait, aren't you supposed to yeah. No, I only have a two with them. I have. I have a. However, I do have negative one with the dinosaur tribes. <laughs> the dinosaur tribes. The dinosaur. I rolled a five. I, okay. Great. I have a positive one with the dinosaur tribes. Yeah, the dinosaur tribes suck. Uh, <laughs> dinosaur tribes no. are awesome. Is that, is that okay? Um, okay. I have a five or six. Are, are all of these people just going to show up and it's going to be like three's company or what? Um, it's kind of like that. Oh. Not your fault. Not your. Um, was that a five, Tom? Or six? Five. Okay, cool. And that was a complicated, or no, That's negative. negative one okay. with the dinosaur truck. I didn't even get to roll any fives or Look what you did. Okay. What does it mean? Truck. What does it all mean? Um, all of these guys are going to show up and duke it out. Well, I mean, for those, for all of, for all the awful fucking comedians in LA, when you sit up in front and you're like, can we get a suggestion to start improv? That's what this is. Gotcha. Mm. That's all it is. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Don't spatula. Don't pineapple. Oh, uh, make it a cake. Wait, grocery that's, store. That's all Wait, it is? Proctologist. Oh, Proctologist. smoking a piñata and putting candy in it. Yes, perfect. <laughs> or condoms. Okay, so you guys all I'm find... I'm skilled. Uh, you guys it all shows. find it yourselves... Um, you guys all find yourselves um, <laughs> having been... That's another way of saying I'm not skilled. Uh, you guys all find yourselves having been hired uh, for a job, uh, and your job is very simple. Uh, all you're doing is protecting a train. Uh, there's a very important... There's very important cargo in this train. I can handle that. Do you, do you want to give like a two minute overview of Eberron for people who oh, are like, yeah, what do you mean we're yeah, kind of on a train? I thought this yes. was D&D. &D. So um, Eberron is Magitech, which is, uh, I mean, it's basically steampunk with all the bullshit that comes along with steampunk. So there's, tra it's true. Uh, there's, there's trains, there's airships, there's wands, which function as like, what, you know, firearms essentially. Um, Eberron is a world that was at war for 100 years, and then a basically a nuclear weapon blew one country off the face of the planet, and no one knows who set off that weapon. So the other four remaining nations of the five were like, let's just have peace now. I'm pretty sure nobody it was, Mason. was it North Korea? It was North Korea. Okay. Um, oh, you guys. Well, well, we can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm so All right, sorry. Amy, you get an extra attack and four rerolls. Tom, you get an extra attack. Oh, yes. And four rerolls? Hang on, nope. let me he get the coins He just gets the out. extra attack. Oh, but I get four. <clears throat> you get four re uh, Yeah, and um, the DM gets his shit. Whoa, wait. <laughs> the DM oh, gets wait, what was that? The DM gets his shit. And the DM gets taken care of. I'm getting... Uh, okay, uh, by the way, thank you. You get four rerolls? Thank you, Redire Twitch. I think somebody felt sorry uh. for me last, uh, last game. God. <laughs> I got oh. really got Oh, the, these are things that people have donated yeah, for. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, because uh. they're just awesome and they care about... Uh, four. They yeah, care four about uh, act.alz.org backslash G-O-T-O backslash saving throw show. Uh, hashtag go purple, hashtag uh, end ALZ. Um, anyway, so yeah, Eberron, there was a big war for 100 years. The war ended basically because of a nuclear weapon that nobody knows who had it or who set it off. So every country just kind of went to peace just because they didn't want to piss off the country who supposedly had it. So they just went to peace. And it's, it's been 13 months now since the war's been over. Obviously, every country is pulling shit behind the scenes on each other. It's a cold war, but no one really wants to go back to war you know, because but the dinosaur tribes are the worst. That's well established. The dinosaur tribes right. uh, border um, the elven nation of Valinar, which is probably why you hate the uh, the dinosaur tribes. By the way, this nuclear weapon also exploded exactly on the borders of uh, a nation right in the center uh, of the continent. So it's not so like... That's magic. convenient. So yeah. It, yeah, it was very convenient. So all the other four countries were like, oh, shit. Okay. So uh, so yeah, they didn't, they didn't want to deal with that. Um, 
We've got uh, we've got uh, a warforged fighter, and I'll let you guys introduce <coughs> yourselves and talk a little bit about the character. You guys can obviously improvise. Um, a warforged fighter. We have an elven barbarian, um, a I halfling know. cleric. We have a dwarven professor wizard, and we have a uh, human paladin. Uh, we'll start with Chris. Uh, hey, I'm Chris. I'm playing Rev, a warforged fighter. Um, I uh, am the only warforged that has dreams. So, that's my unique thing about me. I'm Warforged maybe, or golem? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A bit, I'm essentially a metal. Uh, you know. But are they like? Are they like good dreams, or is it just like the thing <coughs> where you like you're trying to fly, but you're only a few feet off the ground and you're not really moving, and maybe, maybe you get up to ceiling height. I mean, are they good dreams, or just like kind of that bullshit? There, like, there's ah. some. Some are good. Some are bad. Like some, the one where your teeth fall out, or. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that that one wasn't a dream though. Oh. That was. Oh. That was just. I am so sorry. That was just <laughs> life. That sounds oh, painful. But, what? Uh, the the back? Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I. I kind of. I, I think. I, I think he's going to be very like kind of stoic. Uh, fighter. Yeah. Just they. Uh, they look a lot like the guy from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, there's a lot of disagreement in Eberron whether or not Warforged have souls. Um, most countries give them equal rights, kind of. Mm. Um, but the Warforged were created for the sole purpose of fighting the last war, which lasted for a hundred years. So everyone looks at them with a very negative reminder of their creation and who they God, are. God, what a, what a Interesting. cost there. Yeah. yeah, it's great for people who are Irish or martyrs. So the same thing. Um, <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> um, we're both. Yeah, so Tom, what are you playing? Yeah, they're not mutually. Uh, I am playing Diloth, the elven barbarian. And I've saw I've seen the morning M O U R N I N G. That's the nuclear weapon. The morning, and I survived. Whoa, badass! <laughs> I hate the dinosaur tribes, <laughs> <laughs> even though I've got a worse relationship <clears throat> with the Lord of Blades. Those dinosaur tribes piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna kill at least one dinosaur today. Yeah, that's almost certainly true. Every <laughs> day when I get true. up, I think to myself. Who do I know who likes dinosaurs, and how can I kill them? <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work out the way I think. <laughs> That's called being a barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, what are you playing? I am playing Brother DM, a halfling cleric of House Jurasco. And before I continue, I would just like to say on record, I the do dinosaur not like tribe dinosaurs. sucks. I don't like dinosaurs yes. at all. Brothers in arms. Yeah, all right. Kindred spirits. Yeah, there we go. There we you go. have a weak handshake. I'm suspicious of you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I spend a lot of time, you know, at the ledgers. Double you know. suspicious. You're <laughs> digging a hole here, son. You may want to back away. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I am a cleric. If equivocating, uh, also digging a hole. <laughs> Ah, where, where do I go from here? What is what is your one unique thing, Brian? Well, let's see. Uh, my one unique thing was I have actually met a dragon. Not just, you know, saw one in the distance swooping around or maybe had one steal my sheep. I actually met him. His name was Chadwick and he was very pleasant. We had tea and swapped stories and I think I gained something inside. Like an Chadwick is not a very draconic name. Are you sure you didn't meet a it, dinosaur? Uh, with it, uh, strange tendencies. It, uh, it, 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 it doesn't Elven really translate savage. to the common tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Snap into a raptor. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so I am very fiscally minded. You know, managing the ledgers for the house. Still digging. While just <laughs> still digging. Just getting deeper, brother. That's all. Amy, I why don't you go? <laughs> yeah, uh, I will point out that Brian is playing the character well because uh, healthcare is very much, or uh, clerics are very much a for profit business in Iran. <coughs> um, House Strasco pretty much has a monopoly on it, so their clerics yes. are very much. So uh, you know, money just minded. just a reminder to touch the hem of my robe and say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's, it's, I am it's unlikely nice. to do either of those <laughs> things unless it's with my sword. <laughs> I'll remember that. Uh, yeah. Don't uh, point at me like this. It makes me angry. <laughs> you point like this. I, I, thumb down, tucked in. I think Not Tom. Like this. I think Tom is a real method actor. Here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Amy. Um, 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm associate. Um, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm oh, Professor. Geez. I'm Professor Fane, and and I've got. I'm a dwarf, and I have a beard, but I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> okay. uh, uh, so so the thing is, uh, uh, I have a dragon mark across my chest, and it changes every day. And and normally, for for whatever reason, I'm a I'm some sort of brand. I'm a brand. I'm a recognizable brand, or that sort of dragon mark is. is, 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 is uh, like um, today, it looks like a Pepsi Cola. <laughs> you know, you, we all know what that is. It looks like a Pepsi Cola brand. I may as well be a brand of something. I may be long, I may as well belong to someone. <laughs> Excuse I, me, I would like true. to find a new party. Is yeah, yeah, that yeah. possible? Yeah, 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 I understand. I understand that. I'm, I'm a professor, so I'm very smart and intuitive. I understand why you would want to leave. <laughs> Unfortunately, you, 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 you. You can do it. I believe in you. No, no, no. Like this. Like this. You can. And I release you. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's a thing. Um, uh, dragon, dragon marks for, yeah, for those. Un basically like one encounter because we'll just roll there. Right after one encounter. Yeah, more, uh, as, as Mace learned some time ago, that is underprepare <laughs> over improvise is the name of this. Um, uh, dragon marks are magical marks that show up on people, um, and they don't shift every day. That's not oh, it's normal. It's oh, well, well, yours, yours does. Yeah, that's, yeah. What's, that's what's unique about um, it. They, well, a surprise every morning. It's a surprise. Yeah. A surprise. Um, also, they only show up for people who are uh, in noble families of dragon marked houses, which your character isn't. So somehow it showed up, and by blood it shouldn't. Oh. And it also shouldn't be moving around. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Do they get anger when people who with dragon marks are not in noble families? Right. Yeah. No it's one has to see my tits. Let's just. Put it <laughs> <laughs> are they tits today? <laughs> <laughs> it moves all around. Um, okay. And uh, our last character is a human paladin um, Hi. of the silver flame. Hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, oh no. My name's Dale, and <laughs> human, person, paladin. Dale, that's a very um, common name. Know, but you know, it's like the most common, uncommon name. So anyway. <laughs> um, I don't have the intelligence to process that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that I'm sounds really smart. deep. I think I'm pretty smart. People say I have resting bitch face, but I'm actually on the inside. I'm a sweet butterfly. <laughs> Um, I might my sister at RBF is, is a horrible affliction. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know what that I've means. I've got it too, but I'm not but, a biff. But I don't that, know what that, really that means, a, but I'll believe you. Serious, but I am really uh, smart on the there. inside. So anyway, my unique thing is that demonic prisons can't oh. hold me, and um, you have a demon inside of you. I do. I have Ooh. a demon inside me. <gasps> yeah. Is that like a euphemism, or are you actually <laughs> literally? I don't think relationships and one of them is with the lich queen but it's kind of complicated oh, no. and i have like a really good relationship with the church of the silver flame the church of the silver flame are like a bunch of jedis basically Some they're the, the jedi palace jedi. What's, Morgrave, what's Morgrave university they're they're a uni they're like they're I kind don't. of a shady university shady. No. yeah they're kind of shady uh, i'm not shady and i mean they're they're technically accredited Okay. You're talking. Okay. So it's like Duke. Then. That's, that's my relationship. Yeah. <laughs> what you guys are talking about? Are they like ITT factor? They're, yeah, the, oh, they're for sure oh. for profit. They're a for profit university. Like, uh, Morgrave University is known for fencing a lot of stolen archaeological things. Thanks. Ooh. Oh, no. Uh huh. Anybody want dinner? Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to eat. No, I'll eat yeah. the same time. I, I'm yeah. not really hungry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm the power. Okay. Um, oh, Todd, you get three re rolls. Guy in can, here we can I drink? Go. I mean, this is a mirror. Like, like, just two pretty cool drinking. Like, um, you can yeah, imbibe? you are you're <laughs> capable of eating and drinking. It's not necessary at all. Oh, awesome. Um, Tom, you get three re rolls for doing the full 24 hours. Oh! <laughs> well, thank you. Um, That's true. Two re rolls I, I for did. Amy for, quote, surviving the last session. Wow. Oh, and the donation uh, was made by uh, BSB Care. Thank One. You. Um, yeah. Thank you, BSB. You've been fucking here for a while. Two or three? You get three. Ooh! Thank you. Two, Tracy two is balls. Rolls for Tracy for saying the whole time. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Let's, not, let's not fuck around here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of bark, you, Tracy. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's it. Um, you guys are on a train. You've been hired. You've all accepted this job for different reasons. Probably some of you for money. Money. Uh, other. Yes, money. Okay. And some of you maybe for uh, for more personal reasons. I was not sure. Sure. Um, there, uh, This train is actually going up through the dinosaur lands. 
Um, it also has some very juicy artifacts that you're supposed to be guarding mm. in one of the cars. Mm. Um, oh. Additionally, um, there's been a lot of attacks made by Undead and the Church of the Silver Forest <coughs> assigned you to, to go on to deal with that. Um, okay, that's so nice. if you have relationships with the dinosaur tribes, yes. um, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so yeah. you guys are all sitting in different seats. Um, it's pretty clear, uh, this is like a graveyard trip, uh, so there's not very many people on the train besides uh, you guys, and you guys have maybe run across each other as mercenaries, but you don't, you don't really know each other that well. Um, but yeah, you've, yeah, I mean, you've all probably met at some point. The hero or mercenary um, population is very small in Sharn. Like, 99% <coughs> of the people in Sharn are not even first level. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Um, Do we have a boss? The per like, who, the person who, like, managed, like... Um, yeah, you would have all booked, uh, you would have all <laughs> booked this job through a dwarf in uh, the city of Sharn. Sharn is a lot like Magic London, basically. <laughs> Um, <gasps> Harry Potter. This got three <laughs> times better just right now. Sharn is, uh, yeah, Sharn is, Sharn is a, uh, a city of towers that goes miles into the air and is able to fly. The oh. towers are all floating in the air. Yay. I am so glad we three have left that godforsaken yeah, spire town. I like that a lot. It's really cool. It, <clears> it's uh, you would have all you would have all found out about this job oh either through um, through the church for you. And for the, uh, you, church. definitely for the, through the church. Um, ha <laughs> Church. But money-wise. Um, and then the money. rest of you guys would have found it through mercenary means. Um, mm. And you're, you're, uh, the rest of you who are more mercenary um, would have been hired by a dwarf named Opar. <laughs> Opar? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, here we go. I was <laughs> getting Opa! the names wrong. Uh, Opa! This could end any time. I'd be happy. So you guys are riding along, and, and it's pretty um, it's pretty easy for the most part. And you, you guys are supposed to respond if there's if there's any problems. You know, it's basically just watch and see if like the dinosaur tribes attack the train or something. Oh man, That's I the hope the dinosaur ever. tribes attack attack the train. Today. I I feel differently. I I, I do. I, I feel a little differently than you do. Stand behind me. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. The thing, the thing. Unfortunately, you guys did get stuck together. On yeah, 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 yeah. Womp yeah. womp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. braid that yeah. thing? Uh, <laughs> is that common? Sometimes, sometimes I do. Sometimes I, I do. It's a particular. Do you braid it so that people yeah. can see yeah. the dragon tattoo thing? Is uh, that is uh, that a thing? Uh, have it. No, 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 no. I don't don't really want to show it to you guys, but I can. But I can. I can. No, no, I really want to. You know, know the great thing that. about me, me is I don't have to say much, and you just fill in all the blanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The best part about me is, is I fill in all the blanks. <laughs> the lights go out <laughs> on the train. <laughs> Uh, okay, see, what he have here, electrical surge, electrical out, out, we're out, we're out, we're out of electricity. The lights come back on three seconds later. <gasps> and we're back. It's a temporary <laughs> thing. Mm. There's a there's a halfling laying dead in the middle <gasps> of the train. Is it Is me? It him? Oh, yeah. I hope it's Is you. Oh, dead? thank God. <laughs> um, I get because I get a saving throw. Are we all are you we would. all in the same I, car? I You're all in the same car. This they pushed everybody oh, into no. one car, and even then, there's not very many people in this car. That's really. Sad. So there's a dead person uh, on the I floor. I immediately run over to the body to confirm it is, in fact, dead. I, okay. I take his neck pulse. Okay, um, you can make me a wisdom check, and if you have a, a background that's applicable, you can add that as well. Uh, emergency room healer plus four. Yeah, that makes sense. So okay, so, so your wisdom... <laughs> yeah, that does make a lot of sense. So it's d20 plus, it looks like six. That's adding modifier plus level. Yep, and, and then, then another four, so d20 plus ten. Okay, so you're pretty good at this. All hey. right, twenty-five. Oh wow. Um, so yeah, not this person. Uh, they're they're like eking out a last breath. The thing that you find real fucking unusual about this <coughs> is that they're dying in the space of three seconds. Like y you notice, like you didn't really pay attention to them before the lights went out because you're like, whatever. This person isn't important to me. He's beneath. But they were they, right. They were just walking up the aisle. It's one of the attendants. Um, you know, just asking people. You know, what's their drink order? You want any food? Whatever. So you weren't really worrying too much about it until the lights went out, and then you <coughs> see them now dead on the ground. Oh my! Uh, I look for uh, obvious causes of death. Yeah, can I uh, use the soldier background to like look for sketchy people? Look for anybody that looks a little yeah, yeah that'd be a wizard. Yeah, yeah, canvas. Yeah, wizard wizard check, car. Yeah. I look at the back of the car for dinosaurs. Um, I'm gonna try to see if there's any magic that happened. Eighteen. Yeah, make me. Uh, that'd be intelligence plus uh, if you have a background you think applies. Uh, professor. Uh, sure. Uh, 18 yeah. wisdom check. Oh my. Okay. Um, and you're large. looking for just like for like sketchy, sketchy people, or yeah. people, people that look like they're not just on a trip. Um, you see, uh, 
you see there there are um, half a dozen other people on the car besides you, uh -huh. and all of them react uh, much like you did. They're like, whoa. Right. Um, no one no one reacted differently than anyone else? Um, no, not that you noticed. Okay. No, they all seem to, to be like, what the fuck was that? Um, <coughs> 28, pro 28 Professor Magic Chain. Um, you don't notice any magical trace on the body. Okay. There's no lingering sources right. of magic on the body after this death. So um, we, don't we don't notice any marks? Uh, you can make me a check for that as okay. well. Um, uh, any obvious cause of death? or? Um, you see no, you don't see any obvious cause of death. I got a 12. Um, yeah, you don't see any punctures, what you don't see fuck? any bleeding, you yeah. don't see What are the entrances and like exits that? to the, to this car? And everyone, please remain calm. Stay um, in your seats. You don't need the There's really people nervous. panicking. I'm Jerks. sure. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty good. So I would say, um, if anybody, I would say, you know, I'd give people plus one weapons, armor, whatever, for ten bucks if people are willing to donate. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Load me yeah, up. We're only level two. I'm ready. Um, uh, in Thirteenth Age, by the way, there are a total of ten levels. So it's more so like level four, but, we're but well sure. seasoned. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're still pretty low level. What what are the ex exits and entrances and exits to this car? One in the front, one in the back, emergency exits on the sides where you can push the windows out. Are any of the windows pushed out? No. Was it? I'm gonna find another attendant. Lunch? Uh, the other, there's a gnome who's the other attendant and she is like standing over the body like, what the fuck? Did She's clearly freaked eat? out. Um, most most people haven't eaten. It's it's pretty late, so most people didn't order food. They were, to, most people were like, you know, trying to nap or trying to sleep, try to just, you know, sleep through this. I want to go look out the nearest door, like the door closest to me, that the side that I'm on, like go through that door and like look for any. Uh, towards the front of the train or towards the back? Whichever one I'm near, I guess. You're more near to the front. Sure, I'm in the front. So the towards the, I'll go to the door to the, towards the front of the train and look for signs of someone like. Uh, make me another wisdom check. Um, <laughs> yeah, soldier would apply to that one as well. Oh. Uh oh! Oh dear! Is there anything oh, for critical fails? <laughs> nope. No. So I got a six. Um, I want to pull the I, I want to pull the other attendant into our car. The no. Uh, yeah. The other okay. One. Yeah. She's just standing over the. the yeah. Half I, body, I, like. I, I mean, miss. Uh, you're, you're gonna want to come in here with that. Yeah. Out, yeah. Just come in here. Just, well, who uh, I? Yeah, who yeah, are you? Help Why me. do you know? Helpers. 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 Come in. Come in. Okay. Oh, are you the ones they hired? Uh, 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 <laughs> just anything. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, your friend was, was he involved in any uh, in any certain uh, club or cult or, or any? Does he have any enemies? No. Uh, he's what was his name? Um, his name was uh, Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there is there, that, like is there that, is there that name. hesitancy in the middle of the name? Is that part of it? Um, no, she actually. You know what? They she didn't know. Her. Yeah, she would have hesitated because she hasn't known him that long. They've been they haven't worked together that much actually. <laughs> um, yeah, she she's like uh, T Timothy. Um, I don't think so. I mean, he, sometimes he would. He's not the best with customers, but he's okay. He doesn't get rude with them, but he does get a little exasperated. But you know, no one would try to kill him for that. I'd like to make a perception check on if any, can anybody be like, possessed? Um, make me a wisdom check. Um, use the bottom, by the way, you always use the second row of numbers. The top row is basically just for posterity. What about the modify, the, modifi the mo we, Yeah, this line is the one you add. So d20 plus this line. So if I say wisdom, you'll roll a four. What are these for? That's just what it. Uh, that's, that's the modifier. That's, oh, okay, yeah, that's gotcha. just what it started as, and okay. you get more as you level gotcha. up. So, okay. um, and then add your exorcist background because I'm sure that applies. Oh, okay. <coughs> so Oops. you add the four, and you add the three, so it's plus seven. Okay, so uh, fourteen. Um, you see one guy, a human male, who's acting a little funny. Go talk to him. Um, you don't know that he's funny possessed, like a clown. But, but you're like, yeah. he, he definitely has some right of right. those ticks like that I've you've noticed you? before on people who have been possessed. Right. Well, I'm gonna let them do their thing, and I'm gonna just just check him out. So yeah, you you approach him, and as you approach him, he's kind of talking to himself a little bit. Can I oh. smell anything weird? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He smells. He smells of alcohol. We're gonna cut back to the gnome. That you're, uh, that you're with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, is this, have you taken this this trip many times? Is this a is this a travel? This has been my leg for the past three months. Anything weird like this ever happened? Timothy's before? only been here for a week, though. Interesting. Is this the first tri trip he's made with you here? Um. This is what his. This is his second. A anything weird like this ever happened on an, on one of your other three month trips? No. No one dies. 
and don't shoot the messenger. I'm sorry. I just I'm just saying no one <laughs> dies. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh. Do you know if Timothy had any enemies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah, I, I don't it took a while to get out, so maybe, maybe <laughs> <it didn't>. it, <laughs> she did say it. Uh, it's very hard to pick up. Um, <laughs> it, it, just the way it's it, it, no, no, no. It's totally this way of talking. Like, 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 you have it. It's like I don't understand. Yeah. So no. How soon can we get off this train? How soon can we get off? This is very strange. I can sense or see no obvious cause of death. There's no magic either. I we cut back to the human male. Um, he uh, he's like, so you one of the ones guarding this train, or who's who's in charge of this whole uh, ordeal? Yeah, we're like really guarding this train, but you know what? You look kind of sick. Um, like yeah, <laughs> sick. Yeah, I'm sick of the dragonborn. Really? Do you want some water? And maybe I have like. I don't know if I can have like bless it really quick or put holy water in it. Um, yeah, you can you can just wave your hand over and bless some water. <laughs> you should have some water. You look really sick. I'm not thirsty, but fine, whatever. He drinks the water. Um, it uh, it looks like it does. It, you can tell as he's drinking it down. He does. It doesn't agree with him very well. But it doesn't. Okay. He doesn't like spit it up. But you That's can tell it's a little off at some point. I I. Just like to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, man. It's going to be good. Excuse me. <laughs> so you, you, you would actually know that these are the other four people who have yeah, been assigned. Yeah, so I run right. to them. And to, the tr to the train. Guy's a little weird over there. And I tell them what I saw. Yeah. And what okay. Um, the other, uh, the <laughs> other members of the... Oh, thank you. The other members of the train, if anybody wants to write this down... Okay, wow. Sure what happened? Sure. Okay, so uh, everyone, including me... Gets a re-roll. Boom. Ooh. And guys, do you know why that is? Why? why? We are all made of star stuff. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. We are! Yeah. <laughs> I thought I got checked for that. Oh. I thought I got checked for that. Oh, oh my is, god. This is really fancy. I, yeah. We are made guys, of star this stuff. Is, this is the real deal. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, can I, I I'm going to sound an alarm much. to make the train stop. Oh, okay. oh, using, you. using cantrips. That might actually be ill-advised. We are in the dinosaur tribe lands. Oh, that if might we be stop the train, we're sitting ducks. <laughs> I'm, you guys are so I'm, I'm friends with the dinosaur tribes. I could, I could maybe talk to them. My sword and I are friends with the dinosaur tribes too. Oh. We have a very close relationship. Would you uh, be willing to parley on our behalf? Absolutely. If it comes to fight, I will have no problem jumping in. But that is good. So to you're, know. you want your alarm to go off throughout the whole train? Yeah, I want it to sound like a. Very like well. Like, there's something wrong with the train. Okay. Um, you guys know when you got hired on for this job, there were also kind of some peons that were assigned to guard ah. the train right behind you guys. They were not nearly as capable as you, but they were just kind of like, they're like the Brink security guards, um, where it's like, well, we need Brinks. some people to just literally stare at a box for six hours, and they're like, hopefully they don't fuck this up. Ah. Um, and, and you would have been kind of their manager. Uh, so you set off the alarm and you get no response from your, from your Brinks lackeys from the alarm. Um, and you also, uh, you do <coughs> actually notice that um, the, uh, so one train ahead of you is just a regular car with no passengers. One train in front of that is, the, is where the conductor about a train is. Or a car? The car. Sorry. Uh, one car in front of you, and then the conductor's car is, is right in front of that. So two cars in front is the conductor. The car um, between us, though, has nothing in it? Nobody in it. Is there anything But it is a passenger it? car. It's There's a passenger car with it. no passengers. Correct. Everybody got pushed into this one car just to make it life easier for the attendants so they didn't have to walk as far, just to get everybody's orders and stuff. Um, Does the train stop? Um, okay, so when The I train slows down. Um, I the conductor, go actually, you, you notice like a conductor sign start blinking, um, asking for the attendant to come up and talk to him because he can't just stop the train for no reason. Okay. You guys would know that. Um, well, when I, when I look out that front door, I want to go ahead and kind of like poke my head in that front car to mm -hmm. like go through the door into, the, into that middle car mm -hmm. and, and look around in there and see if there's anything Make off. me a perception check. Oh, sorry, wisdom uh, check. Wisdom check? <laughs> yeah. 11? Um, looks empty to you. You don't see anything weird about it. <laughs> Nothing weird? I'm going to let the attendant go. Okay, yeah. She heads up, and she says to you, um, so you want me to just tell him to stop completely? Uh, yes, yeah, I think, I, think that, I think that would be best. We, I we just worry because, and here's the, th the problem that I have with it. It, it I'll tell him. 
and she. Leaves. No, wait, wait. I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I would like to take this guy. And is there anything like a kitchen on this train or like? Oh, a absolutely. Car? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to take him there. It's more just kind of like a booth up front, like you see on planes where they just have that little serving area. Okay. Yeah. I want it's any, in the any car. Pla- you're any in. place where there's like you know sufficient room that I can lay this guy out and do a more dedicated search. Okay. Yeah. You lay him out back there. The rest okay, of the passengers cool. stay. I, I, I want to follow. I want to accompany the the attendant up to okay. up to the cool. the conductor car. Okay. Um. So you get up to the to the front of the conductor's car and. and and she knocks, um, and then you know the, the conductor kind of hollers like, "Yeah, is that you?" And he opens up. I'm going to cut to you to do this investigation all right, cool. here. Uh, all right, uh, I get one of the attendants to help me mm-hmm. hoist him and carry him over. Yeah, you've got a table big enough. <coughs> I mean, he, he's a halfling, so he doesn't take up a lot of space. Excellent. Uh, I lay him out, and I take out a small little little uh, moleskin uh, uh, notepad and, okay. a, and a quill. And I just set it down, and I waggle my fingers, and it starts, it like picks up and starts jotting notes. Uh, oh, that's cool. Autopsy notes, uh, Brother DM, is it Tuesday? I, I don't even, and it just starts writing his ramblings and stuff. It must be Tuesday because <laughs> I had tea, and I only have tea on Mondays. On Wednesdays, it's a light beer. Anyways, uh, beginning the autopsy. Where do you uh, start? I I start removing his clothes to see if I can see like a ligature mark or mm-hmm. wounds or anything. Make me a wisdom check. Sure. Uh, also, just a quick note. Uh, I was looking at my talents and I see mm-hmm. trickery domain. It yeah. says give a pre-roll d20. What's um, that? Yeah. So at the beginning of a combat, as a, as a quick action, which is like a bonus action in 5th right. edition, you can roll a d20. You just set it off to the side. Oh, and oh, then boy. you hand that d20, whatever the number on the face of it is, you give it to somebody whenever they're doing a thing. You can give it to an enemy if it's low. You can give it to an ally if it's high. Nice. Just whatever you feel. Whoever, like. you know, compliments me the best. Mm-hmm. That's who it'll. That's who it'll go to. All right, make it a wisdom check. Uh, I'm assuming the emergency room healer thing. Oh, will of fly course. Here. Yeah, yeah, that works. Good. So, uh, well, that's good because that is six, six, twelve plus four, sixteen. Um, on the surface of the body. Um, mm-hmm. Nothing. You look, the Nothing. skin lo- looks good. He doesn't <coughs> seem to have any, you know, not even any bruises. I mean, he's in good shape. This is, he, that's, I mean, it's No subdermal fine. hematoma, no <laughs> obvious signs of struggle or wounds. Perhaps some kind of, uh, what's the word? That thing where something happens inside you and you can't really tell what it Internal is. Internal bleeding? Internal such and such. Yes. <laughs> something. Very well. I will need to make an incision. Uh, you guys, uh, everyone at the table, yes. um, you can either increase your AC by one, Ooh. or you can give yourself plus one to hit and damage because Space Colonizer has given everyone at the table a plus one item of their choice. Oh, so no. Space, Space Colonizer, Colonizer is killing it right I'm now. Go- I- I'm gonna take a, a coil for my beard hair. It'll, <laughs> it'll be a plus one coil for my beard. Plus one it'll, beard it'll, coil. It'll help with my attack and hit. All right. All right. So, um, can so I you raise my what? What are what spell? What are my spells based on? Um, it, it'll work for that. Yeah. It's uh, okay. uh, so whatever. Yeah. So whatever the attack bonus is on your note cards, that'll go up by one. Okay. Great. I'll do, it'll be a wand plus yeah, one. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, um, this is actually huge. I didn't mention it. The escalation die that you see here that I put up high. When combat does start, which it will at some point, it's not a huge focus, but you know, combat is a thing. Um, that's what you add to your attack rolls. Um, in addition to what's whatever's on your sheet. Oh. Uh, every round we swap it, so it goes up to two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then six. So wow. by the sixth round of combat, you guys have a huge bonus to hit. So it's just meant to get nice. the combats. Oh, thanks, moving. Space Colonizer. Space yeah. Colonizer on the moon. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Star stuff. <laughs> Star, Star stuff. stuff. Uh, spe- oh, space colonizer. We gotta colonize space and militarize right. it, guys. We gotta, yes. we gotta go to Mars and build okay. a dreadnought. Uh, so um, I, I'm actually gonna leave. I'm gonna right leave now. you here. It's, so it's you get up to the, yes. the front. The train conductor so comes out, um, and he mm. says, "So what, it's a dwarf. What are we stopping the train for? What's going on here?" Uh, what I'm, about the I'm, I'm just kind of. I mean, they can get there. There, I'm gonna let their kind of, like her tell. Or let's see what. what so is yeah, she, she says. Well, these guys say we need to stop the train because. You well, first of all, there was somebody's dead. Um. Yeah. How does that's how basically does, how her does, whole thing? How does how does he react to the to there being a dead dead person on the train? Um. Oh shit. Um. Uh, <coughs> can we stop the train here? 
this isn't a great place to stop, is it? I mean, with, with all the halflings and the damn dinosaurs flying <laughs> around and everything, I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. Uh, how far? Nobody are we? really gets. A, I mean, these halflings are a problem, so I don't think it's worth. It's how, a good thing I'm wait, not there. How how far how far good are we thing. from the near from from our stop from the next another two hundred fifty miles? So it's a long trip. Long trip. Yeah. Um. And and you say this is a dangerous area that we're in? Are we? Uh, I mean, we're looking at. Jeez. Well, we're looking at either we got to. Yeah, it's it's about eight and a half mm. hours, a little over eight hours and change to get uh, up to our destination. Um. I don't like the idea of stopping in the middle. Of, I mean, listen, you guys are in charge. To be you guys honest, are, I don't like the idea of stopping either. Um, you're, I'm not you're the there, ones by paid, the way. You right. guys are the ones paid the big bucks, so I, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them to, to hold off, and then I'm going to go back. I'll keep uh, moving for now. I'll be ready to stop. Okay. To <coughs> yeah. Uh, so um, I'll, okay. I should give you the list of the passengers, what I tried to do earlier. So you've got a human male in the car. You've got a human female in the car. You've got a drow male. Dun dun. He did it. Racial profiling. Oh boy, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, you've got a dragonborn female. She wishes she had my mark. <laughs> um, oh god, what else do I have? One, two, three, four. Uh, I just want to tell you. Oh, you've got a half elf uh, male. Is that the one that was sketching? Oh, and then you've got the gnome female, the, the other attendant. That's not many. Who is, who is the sketchy one? Um, the, the one that was... The human male. Human male is the Yeah, that one. was the one that seemed a little <clears throat> off. But those are the only six in the train car besides you guys. It's a small trip. Okay. Okay. Um, is he... He's doing I'm, the doing the autopsy thing in the same car as everybody else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you come what walking back, poisoned? and as you come back into the car, you see him on I'll the left out. working on this body. And we'll go back to you at this point. Excellent. So, um, what, what are you doing now? Uh, well, he's... A, okay. You walk up. I walk up. Um, I'll ask if you've, if you've discovered anything. Well, nothing yet. It doesn't seem to be an obvious outward cause of death, although... I'm just about to cut in. It's actually the most exciting part. But I have uh, something to ask. Uh, are the artifacts secure? That's I don't think anybody's checked. What where? the hell do you think I've been doing the whole time? Yeah, what, where are the artifacts that we've so, that were One car back from you. One car back? Yep. Um, I go back and look. That's where your lackeys yeah. well, are at I'll, as well. So well you I'll, go back and look? I'll continue here. You should check and make you sure You go back and, and it's actually locked. The door is locked. Was, was, anybody was, it locked was it locked before? Does anybody have a lock? It was locked. It was supposed to be locked. It was supposed to be locked. Do we, have, to be locked. Did <clears throat> do we have a key to it? Um, no, but you uh, you were supposed to be able to, I mean, set off an alarm, and ideally that means your lackeys, the other shitty security guards, were supposed to report in with you or right. something. Uh, right. That's a bad sign. Right. Okay. Um, so don't we don't have I'm any way of opening that, anymore. opening the, the lock uh, door the, to the, the artifact? The, the conductor keeps all of the keys in the front. So you would know Can that I the keys are Can I cast knock? Um, Absolutely. All right, knock. Yeah, so you, and you hear the latch turn. Okay. Okay, okay so I'll, yeah, I'll <laughs> say we should go, we should check on, we should check on the artifacts immediately. Yes, of course. Okay. So, but I, I, I'm you, just, you stay here. I'm, I'm just like yeah. arms is, deep is in Is Knock a cantrip now. for you? Is that a I'll say that. You stay here. We'll, okay. we'll go check on the oh, artifacts. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I, ooh, I think that's a spleen. So who's, I who's stay with opening? the weird guy or go with you guys? No, come, come, come okay. with us. I'll, I'll motion for the, the all three of us mm -hmm. to follow into the room with the artifacts. All right, so who's opening the door? I'll open the door. Not me. Barbarian okay. will open the door. Okay, I'll so be, I'll be right behind though. Um, Bar, but you open the door <laughs> and you see uh, you see a number of, of crates, you know, ranging from you know four by five to six by ten, and then one in the center of this car that's really big. It's uh, ten feet tall, fifteen feet wide, fifteen <coughs> feet long, um, and it has it's actually chained to the floor. There's chains going over it and around it, and you see half a dozen locks on it. Do we know what that? That's the thing that um, they 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 mentioned that that's. Under no circumstances, obviously, is that to be opened. So you see that I did bury the lead. There are half a dozen zombies <laughs> and a very emaciated-looking <coughs> tiefling oh. that are inspecting this large crate. Do I see that? 
When you open the door? Well, I, oh, no, I, he's, I'm like across oh, the way. He's working. No, up. I yeah. open the door. You is it okay? You open the door <laughs> and you see, you see this, and when you open the door, the uh, the the zombies are kind of the slow Shaun of the Dead zombies, <coughs> um, so they don't Shaun. barely even make a motion to you. Um, is everything all right? I immediately hold out my hand and shoot uh, hand oh. cross about the T plane. Bye, Mason. Oh, he turned it sideways. Yeah. I, Bye. I, I put my arm up over over the barbarian's shoulder oh, and, shoot, shot. and shoot. And shoot. Uh, <laughs> so he, so, the, the, so the, tiefling, the tiefling, the tiefling turns around as soon as you open the door, and he turns around to see a crossbow bolt flying at him. <laughs> Roll initiative. Folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. This is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh, 